Now, I've been wanting to make a video on this topic for quite some time. And, uh, at the moment, I'm quite busy. I'll be uh, moving flat soon because I have to commute from the job that I've taken on recently. Anyway, before I proceed, uh, I want to thank Girl Writes What, uh, again, if I've not done so. And I'm going to post a link to her channel. Those of you who don't know her, she's an incredibly articulate person on these issues. I find I always learn a great deal from her um, and she gets me thinking and uh, she st she's responsible for at least two of the videos I've made because she sort of stimulated my thoughts in the right direction and um, she seems to be a genuinely concerned and ethical person and uh, I I want to thank you as well Girl Rights What if you happen to watch this I, I was one of the many people that have written you um, but thank you very much indeed uh, please watch our videos. They're really good. They're really on topic and they really just hit the nail on the head and we can all learn a lot from her I find. Um, and having said that, let's move on to the topic at hand because this most recent video by Girl Writes What uh, was the final impetus for me to make this. Um, I incessantly hear on the internet and in real life all the time, particularly from women, occasionally from men, that what I'm doing and what most men who are interested in this topic or pursuing these issues in an active manner where we're essentially engaging in women, engaging in women bashing. We are women bashers. Many moons ago, one of my female viewers even told me, hey, at least be fair, bash men too. Um, and I have to say, though, this particular viewer has written me a number of... Uh, private messages of late and they've grown increasingly insulting and vitriolic so I think her true colors have been shown. That's neither here nor there. Uh, well, this video is in a sense both a response and an explanation to you know, why, why do we allege, uh, I don't consider it women bashing, why do we engage in women bashing? Well, the central core issue here, and I do mean the core issue is that we who do this, we men who think it's important to fight for our rights, uh, who think we're, we actually have some sort of personhood, um, we don't talk about the bad deeds of men. That's true. It's rare. And it does happen. There are bad men. They commit murder. There are actual rapists as well. But then again, there are female murderers and rapists as well. And so the point here that I'm making is that A, criminality and upstanding behavior is not the province of one gender. Both women and men can do ill and can do good. But my task, my small contribution to make and informing people, particularly my fellow men, is not to um, stress that over and over and over again. Because that's men who are aware of these things we, we already know that there are they're guys, men, they do bad things. The problem is, on a societal level, everywhere, that if you have an actual rapist, a male rapist, or an actual murderer, or a robber, or a thief, or a wife beater, that that particular individual's behavior, individual male's behavior, is transformed into a universal axiom across the boards that is to say that uh, man A beats his wife, uh, ergo all men beat their wives. Man B raped a college uh, age girl, i.e. all men do this. So there's an instantaneous uh, transformation of one individual's behavior. It's, 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 it's put on the rest of us. All men are responsible. It's it's sort of it's, it's a form of collective guilt supposedly right that one man does it and so it's it's basically an it's at least it's perceived as an axiom if there could be such thing as a such such thing as a behavioral axiom that that would be it one man commits ill then all men are responsible um, but let, let's look at the other side of the coin the other side of the coin quite frankly is if an individual woman commits uh, ill crime murder rape whatever. There are usually two responses. One, which is uh, 
you know, we, the one we often hear that not, not all women are like that, which we've discussed ad nauseum, and it's devoid of content, doesn't explain anything. But um, that's what they say. Even, I don't know which one is worse. The other one is, it's not even, they just say she was crazy. No, no one, no one, I've never heard say, well, you know, woman beats, beats her children and then stabs her husband to death. Uh, no one says, well, I'll, you know, that's what women do. It was just that one individual. But men are wife beaters, of course, because one guy might have done it. Um, so, at the end of the day, this is the, the core issue. And the reason why I, and I imagine other men uh, going their own way, don't talk about uh, the ill that uh, men perpetrate. Because all persons, all human beings, can, are in the position to commit good or ill. And as I said, it's, it's not the domain of one gender or the other. Um, and I think if you look at most uh, of the things attributed to men, the, you know, in terms of rape, in terms of uh, relationship abuse, there's pretty much a statistical symmetry in, in actuality. So, but focusing, uh, bashing, first off, I'm not, I'm, I, don't, I don't bash women. I'm simply highlighting, the rest of us are highlighting the way things are. And this is the hump that we all have to sort of move beyond. And in Girl Writes What's most recent video, uh, she really hits the nail on the head. That is to say that uh, men are perceived as agents and women as objects. And it's an interesting point because whilst many females, I imagine, would perceive feminism as something particularly empowering to women, it, it damages women. Because women are perceived as helpless, helpless as, as innocent, as incapable of causing ill, and perhaps a, a good as well. Um, I don't, uh, who knows, but the fact that they lack agency, um, and I freely, I'm freely plagiarizing these terms from Girl Rights What, is, uh, is damaging to women. And in, in the same token, the fact that men are always agents, um, this, is, this is the mechanism by which we, uh, to, by which we, um, receive this attribution of, well, we're all rapists because one guy did it. Um, so it is a pers an issue of collective perception whereby the female is harmless and can't do, really do anything, and men do everything. And if the God, gods forbid he, one man does beat his wife, then all men, this is the perception at least. And so it's, it's a moot point, and, and there's no point in me or any other man going his own way, or MRA, and talking about um, the ill that men do. We're all aware of it, and we're all, but what we do if we highlight poor female behavior or, or malicious female behavior is that it, it needs to be relentlessly highlighted because until people get the fact that it is, that Violence and, and criminality and, and bad things, bad deeds, are not the sole province of half of humanity. Where, and the other half are um, innocuous uh, angels. I'm never going to stop highlighting the ills of, of, that women uh, perpetrate. Because they do perpetrate ill, they commit crimes, um, and no doubt there are also uh, women like Girl Rice Wood who who seem to be very fine persons indeed. But that is not my job. That's not what I see myself doing when I make these videos. I'm not here to uh, highlight what, what, what we already know in society, what we see every time you turn on the telly. Not that I watch television these days. I haven't in years. But, or you turn on the, the YouTube, as it were. You see the male bashing. Um, I'll post a link to his channel as well. Look at the Ignored Genders channel, where I mean, he specializes in highlighting these uh, these commercials. He even had one, a bunch of German ones, which I thought were horrific. There's one in particular, um, and I don't want to go too much on a tangent, where the, the, the wife and the daughter are um, are enjoying the, the possibility of collecting life insurance whilst the father is sitting on the couch with them. So, so we see universal male bashing all the time. We see uh, men being collectivized and their behavior, the behavior of one being turned into a universal axiom for all. 
And that's the reason why most of us, I imagine, and certainly I don't talk about bad male behavior because it's because it defeats the purpose. Um, that's all we hear about. Um, uh, that, as Girl Rights What said, you know, if you see a woman slapping or beating her, her boyfriend, he must have deserved it, right? That's what men do, right? They, they, they're bad people, allegedly. So I don't see the point in doing that. And that, that is the primary reason why I don't talk about the bad things men do, um, because that's all we hear about. And I'm quite frankly, I'm tired of hearing about it. Um, it and that, that in itself is a response, is not an explanation. It lacks content as well. I've gotten in many discussions with female acquaintances of mine about this. Oh, men cheat too. Men do this. Yes. Um, and if you were to open up a magazine, you would see that only men cheat. Uh, advice. I mean, take some of these really cheesy uh, Yahoo articles that you see online or magazine articles you see online. Uh, How to catch a cheater or um, you know, five ways to, to know um, he, he is cheating. I can't remember the last time I've ever seen a the, the, the female third person pronoun being used there, namely she. I've never seen that. Um, it's always about the male, so there's no point in talking about it's not a bad male behavior because we are inundated with with at least images of alleged ma uh, bad male behavior through the media, through colloquial conversation on every level. So that's why I'm not going to focus in on that. And I think that's why most of us don't bother focusing in on that. Um, because males in our society, really across the board, particularly in Western society, lack individual personhood. And until individual deeds are seen as individually perpetrated and not transferred to the rest of us, on a universal scale and become some sort of behavioral axiom that doesn't exist, no, I'm not going to be talking about bad stuff that men do. I will, however, be talking about bad stuff that women do in the hopes that individual individuality is recognized and the fact that both genders can commit ill um, and that there are inherent, indeed inherent biological tendencies of selfishness, of self-entitlement, that evolved over millions of years um, that inform female behavior. I've talked about this before. You can, you can find out more about it by going online and doing some research about picking up a book. That is inherent because it was necessary at some point in time, thousands, millions of years ago. Um, females, women are the limiting factor in reproduction for survival's sake. They need to develop uh, certain tools and some of those tools are an enhanced sense of groupism, of collective, collectivist thinking that is women in it for themselves, and a sense of self-entitlement that men lack. Men are, are definitionally more individualistic than women are. We tend to be more, lone, uh, more, uh, more, of, lo more of the loner sort than, than, than women are. Um, and we tend to think less in terms of our, this is also the problem, of course, with men's rights, in the men's rights movement, that because we are more individualistic, we tend to think uh, less in collective terms, and I hate collectivism, but the fact that there is there are certain universal um, traits to men, and also the plight of men in, in on a society-wide scale is universal, and that we're all uh, essentially under siege because of that. And that's difficult to get past. I, uh, I just don't see the point in talking about the bad things that men do, and I wanted to address that. There's simply, because as I said, we need to recognize that persons, not genders, commit ill, and that yes, there are, there are indeed natural tendencies on the part of women to do certain things that men are much less likely to do. Men are more self-sacrificing than women are. That is in our nature, it's built into our nature. Um, it's simply the way it is. Uh, and women, because of our evolution, are less self-sacrificing. They'd much rather have someone else do it. Once again, perception of, well, I think Girl Rights what calls it hyper-agency. Agency, um, we have the agent and we also have the receiver. The woman is the receiver and we are the agents. Well, and so 
until these, this changes, and I don't know if it'll ever change, this is an incredibly uphill battle. Um, I mean, I dare say uh, it's not even 90 degrees. It's something beyond that. Maybe it's 100 degrees low back. I don't know. But you know, until that hap changes, uh, I'm not going to talk about the bad things men do. Hey, if you want people, especially women who view me and the rest of you, if you're actually interested in that, watch a couple of YouTube videos, turn on the television, watch the news. You'll hear about the bad things men do all the time. Um, on the other hand, you'll hear only about the good things that women do. Or if a woman, on the rare occasion that she commits a crime, uh, if you hear about her, it'll just be some crazy woman. Um, remember, I think her name was Catherine Becker, the, guy, the woman who poisoned her husband and chopped his penis off and threw it in the trash compactor? No one universalized that behavior. Of course, it was laughed at that, no, there we have it. Um, it was funny, right? Emasculation. Um, but that, that behavior wasn't universalized to all women by any means. But the gods know that if a man had sedated his wife, in the United States at least, and cut off her clitoris or did, had done some dreadful act like that, perhaps society, it would have been, a, thou a thousand changes would have taken place. There would have been new legislation. Men would have been the very personification of all malice and evil. There's no doubt in my mind that that would have happened. So we see, once again, one guy does something bad, every guy does it. The, the axiom of male behavior, as I like to call it. One woman does something bad, not all women are like that, in the best case scenario, or, um, oh, that was just a crazy person. But it has nothing to do with the rest of women. That's all I pretty much have to say on the subject. Um, but this is my explanation of why I don't talk about this, and I think it's a waste of time, and um, yeah. On a final note, uh, regarding Girl Rights What, I've already offered her enough praise, I think, but it, it is a sad state of affairs that she has a lot more credibility than I, or even people who I think are much more talented than I am, such as Barbarossa, because she's a female. I mean, I think I have a lot of respect for her, and I learned so much from her. But the very fact that she automatically has more credibility on talking about these issues because she happens not to have a penis and the rest of us do, it, it, it really is an indication of the sad state of affairs we're in. And another reason why I'm not going to talk about, never going to talk about the bad things that men do. Um, because you just need to open up your eyes, perk up your ears, and you can hear about it all day wherever you are, across the board, throughout Western civilization. So that's all I have to say on that. Thanks for watching. And Girl Rights What, thank you very much indeed again.